Hello, this is the Radio Geek. I've got a little radio here and I've found this on a number of different radios is that when you change the batteries in it, the clock resets to 12 and you have to reset the time just because you needed to change the batteries. See right now, 505. Just pop one of the batteries out. Ah, okay, let's put in our new batteries. Okay. Put our battery cover back on. And, ah, 12 o'clock. We have to reset the clock again. Let's see if we can't do something about that. Okay. Now we're inside the radio. Now what can we do about our clock resetting all the time? So basically, we need to uh, set it up so that the radio has power for a short period of time while we're changing the battery. And then it will be um, uninterrupted and the clock can keep running. Right here is the battery input. There's a battery plus and a battery minus. And just follow the leads from your battery compartment to the radio. This will work should work on just about any small little radio. Um, obviously, this voids your warranty. I'm not responsible if your house burns down or your cat dies or anything like that. You're all on your own if you decide to do this. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a capacitor in between the positive and the negative of these battery inputs. And so what that'll do is the battery will charge that capacitor. And then when you take the batteries out, the uh, capacitor will start to discharge where the battery was and provide power for the clock circuitry, hopefully long enough to change the batteries. Now, of course, the bigger the value of capacitor, the more charging capacity you could have. I'm just going to put in what I have on hand. I have some uh, surface mount 10 microfarad uh, ceramic uh, capacitors that are package size 1206. And it is a 16 volt cap, which is kind of uh, bigger voltage wise than it needs to be because most of this radio can supply is 3 volts. So let me get that soldered in there between those two terminals and then we'll see if it works. Okay, we have the capacitor in place. It is right there between the positive and the negative terminal. It's a 10 microfarad, 16 volt, 1206 package capacitor. Um, it fits between those two pads pretty good. Uh, it's a little big, a little bigger than it needs to be. Um, I mean, physically sized. It'd be nicer if it's a little smaller, maybe an 805 or something. And it really depends upon how your radio circuitry is laid out uh, as far as, you know, what the spacing would be. So now we've got it in there. We should be able to put our batteries in um, and change the time, set the time, whatever, and... Uh, we take our batteries out, we should uh, have some additional time to get the new batteries in there before the time um, has to be reset. So let's put it together and see what happens. So here we are. After the modification, we have the capacitor put in place across the battery terminal. Um, you can see it's 520. Let's flip it over. Oh, our batteries fell out. Let's put our new batteries in. Right. Oh, look at that. It's still 520. We don't have to reset the clock again when we change our batteries. How long do we get? Let's see. I'll pop them out and I'll kind of just see how long it takes. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015, 1016, ah, it's uh, 15 or 16 seconds, although it could be, it looks like this place completely faded out, so at that point I guess it's possible that the uh, time is gone by now. So I would say you get at least 
12 to 15 seconds to change your batteries which would be plenty of time if you have the set sitting there right next to you and out of the package and ready to go should be able to do that without any difficulty so anyway it's a real simple mod that you can do at home to your little pocket radios and you don't have to reset the uh, the time and if it has any station presets I presume that it would uh, keep that alive too although a lot of the preset stations on some of the radios are stored in non-volatile memory um, so it does not depend on the battery but that depends on the radio if it's more expensive it probably has that but uh, inexpensive radio like this uh, probably not so it's a little uh, battery backup for when you change your battery out so anyway hope you enjoyed the the mod until next time this is the radio geek